Jamie. I'm Ash. And this is where we think you should go in February. Our first choice is Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And why? This month is uh, one of the biggest celebrations in the world, Carnival. Carnival. Apart from this Carnival, Brazil has beautiful beaches, street parties, beautiful food. Just to add, why not try something a little bit different? Why don't you uh, take some samba classes? Mm. Take part in Carnival, why oh, not, right? Yeah, I mean, if, while you're, if you're going there, take part. Oh right? yeah, you've got, to, you've got to do the whole yeah, whole you've got to really. it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so remember, Carnival, this year is on the 11th of February, um, but next year it will be on the 3rd of March. March. I'll be missing it this year. Yeah, that's our bad. But next year, 3rd of March. The uh, weather's fantastic. Yeah. It's coming in. And um, Christ and Dima. Yeah. That'd be an incredible thing to go with those. A long hike. Got that um, yeah. mountain. You can get that tour. Yeah, I think that uh, would be an amazing way to see the city. Um, one of my favourite foods is actually Brazilian barbecue. Mm. So to have some authentic Brazilian barbecue yeah. would be incredible. Uh, for both of us, a passion is football. Yeah. Uh, Brazil is kind of the home of like, beautiful football. Yeah, yeah. That's right. So why not give it a try? You might see the next uh, yeah, well, name. Well, well, yeah. The next Brazilian Ronaldo. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's Rio. Check it out. Our second pick, Iceland. Now this is the complete opposite of Rio. This is not beautiful beaches. This is not Carnival. This is cold, but still an amazing experience. Um, Iceland is one of the best places I've ever personally visited. Uh, I was there for a weekend. Every single day was better than the last. A new adventure. Um, there's so many things to do. February is a fantastic time to see the northern lines. Um, the daylight hours are just at the right time, so the sun kind of comes up around 9 o'clock, goes down around 6 o'clock. Um, it's not too cold, it's about 3 degrees C, which is probably 10, 20 degrees C warmer than it would be in the, in the winter. I think it's one of those things, you see loads of videos on it, but I don't think it really captures how beautiful it is. No, it's like, it's a real... I, I agree with that, I haven't experienced, I haven't experienced it myself. Um, there's loads of activities in Iceland, it's a fantastic outdoor holiday. Um, one of my favourite things, and to date it's one of the best things I've ever done, which was to snorkel uh, between the North American and the Eurasian tectonic plates. It was absolutely fantastic. The water's fed from a uh, glacier, it drips down thousands of years, and it was, and you can just drink it. It was just this random water, and it was the purest water I've ever drunk. It was absolutely, it's a must, must do. And another thing for um, Iceland, if you're a Game of Thrones fan, <laughs> There's a lot of sets there, because that's where uh, <coughs> quite a lot of the um, filming in the north, so it's all um, uh, Night's Watch, uh, Winterfell, it's all filmed in that sort of location, so you probably could see some of the iconic locations. Um, for adrenaline wise, there's a lot of things to do. Uh, glacier heights, uh, include actually scaling the glaciers. Uh, ice caving, I did that, that was, that was awesome. Uh, there's also lava tube caving. Uh, snowmobile safaris, there's helicopter tours, anything you can have, you can imagine. And the best thing about it is, most of the tours actually kick off from Reykjavik, uh, which is where the majority of the population is, and obviously where the majority of the hotels is. Yeah. It's the hot springs, public pools, and the... they're a bit cheaper uh, than the. But the iconic one is the. Um, the only advice with that is book ahead because it does get pretty. Yeah, Iceland is an amazing place to go, and I would love personally to go there. Um, yeah. uh, Honduras is the next one. Uh, this is a bit of a, a weird one for us. Um, it's more from my personal opinion. Uh, Honduras is a fantastic place to learn to dive. Uh, scuba dive, yeah. Uh, the Bay of Honduras is probably the best. Uh, there's tons and tons of uh, paddy approved schools. Uh, it takes about four days to do your open water, but you can do that before going away. Yeah. But obviously Honduras will have the warmer water, 
there's dolphins, turtles, eagle rays, uh, reef sharks, uh, whale sharks are all here fed around February time. So Honduras is the place to go in February for fantastic dives. Yeah, fantastic animals. Yeah, I, um, like, uh, diving is one thing I'd really want to learn. So I think I'd probably, if I personally, I'd probably learn before I went to Honduras so I could just get straight into it. Uh, yeah. Spirit, so. Give it a go. And our next pick is Quebec City. Um, for food, for beautiful sights, uh, sports, uh, ice hockey. Uh, February is a great time to go uh, because they have the Winter Carnival, uh, which is parades, snow sculpting, a uh, chocolate chug, which is a French uh, hot chocolate with red wine, liquor, maple syrup, and spice. Um, I actually took the liberty of making a sum. Um, without the alcohol because I'm driving. So, cheers. Chocolate mm. oh, chill. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's kind of like a, it's almost like a chocolate fondue, but it's yeah. just a little bit yeah. runnier. Oh, yeah, it's really nice, really sweet. Yeah. Not too sweet, sort of just. So, chocolate chill, so served with hot caribou. Mm -hmm. Try some hot caribou wash. Yeah, there. you you can make it here, but like anything else, you're gonna get the best exactly authentic yeah. taste over there. Absolutely. Uh, Canada uh, this time of year is there's a lot of snow, uh, a lot of ice. Um, one of the things you could do for a new experience is why don't you try booking a room at Hotel de Glass? And it does look like a great experience. I, I think the holidays for the university you should be trying to think of it. Absolutely, so, yeah. yeah. I think holidays are made on the new experiences. Mm -hmm. And speaking of new experiences, the new the ice uh, club maker of St. Lawrence. Oh, so, that's amazing. Yeah, so, you probably see the pictures like that. I think you post some pictures and videos of it. But it's another thing that you just need to try for yourself. I think. Absolutely. Um, Quebec City also has, uh, it's a very historic city, so it does have uh, lots of buildings to go and see, it's a great city to well walk around, so our pick for a wintry destination for February is uh, Quebec City. Yeah. Okay guys, our final pick uh, for this video uh, for February is South Portugal. The weather right now isn't as hot as it could be. Uh, but it's, but it's, it's not, not it's um, nice. Yeah, I think if you're here right now this morning, it was snowing outside. So, but weather's not the only thing for you first off. Um, there's great hiking, and um, if you're into that sort of thing, mountain hiking, you can do a holiday on that. Just in South yeah. Portugal. Uh, biking, mountain yeah. biking uh, is a fantastic place for this as well. Yeah. Um, uh, the beaches, uh, although it's a bit, it's a little bit too cold to actually go swimming, um, they're completely empty and they're beautiful, picturesque beaches. Like me, if you like beer, it's only two pounds in some parts of South Portugal. So, exactly. Well, where, why wouldn't you go somewhere when yeah. beer is two pounds? Exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, this is also a great time to actually explore uh, the interior. Um, of that area because in the, in the summer it just it's too hot it's too clammy you just can't do it yeah yeah so this is the time for you to go and do that okay we owe this inspiration for this video the lonely palette there are amazing particular videos got the inspiration for the book of where to go when um uh, had some sort of inspiration for february we added in our own ones mm -hmm. I think it's easy when you go on holiday, you just go somewhere familiar. So I think it's amazing to get sort of a book like this yeah. and just look at the month and go, oh, that's a place I've never been before. Or oh, that's a place I'd never think exactly. I'd go before. Sort of, like, sort of like Portugal in February. Would you really think of going there? Because it's not as hot. So I'll put the link down below. So if you do want to get it yourself, you can. Um, thank you for watching. We've been The Wanderers. If you like this video, you can subscribe. And you can follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. Thanks.